Hello, Treebeard. <laughs> anyway, now that everything is fully loaded, let's go, why don't we? I'm going to try. We probably don't have enough time, but I'm going to try. Bouncing burst, bomb, okay, that's not bad. To, um, get powerful enough to kill that boss down over here that we killed last time. And see if I can take another crack at getting a hold of that key. Because <clears throat> I want to see what that key unlocks. This is going to work, though. <clears throat> oh, wait. Can Bouncing Burst... Hmm, Bouncing Burst might not work for this. I just realized. No, it doesn't. Damn. And I highly doubt we can get a bomb to explode at just the right point. Well, I guess we're doing this part later. <clears throat> Okay. There's something interesting to loss. Slimy egg. I don't know what that gets me, if anything. Come on, I'm cooperating. Slimy egg does. Get that good mixed up so we can use it to refill some of our water. Anyway, we have two of them, whatever they do. I should probably try doing stuff with one, see what happens. I must put myself up there like a dumbass. Purifying powder. Hmm. I wonder what I can do with that. I probably should grab that pouch just in case I decide I want to pick up something later. Go ahead and drop a bomb. Oh, right there. Waiting for me to go boom. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this stuff does. Let's try throwing an egg at an enemy and see what happens. Oh, interesting. It creates one of those creatures, but a friendly version. Okay. Well, now we have a couple of followers. my water potion. Okay. Got a bit of 
berserkium down there. I suppose never hurt anybody. I shouldn't say never hurt anybody, because it very definitely hurt somebody. Just not me. <clears throat> oh, survey! this stuff? Cocktail. 38% full. Okay, well we've got a firebomb now that we picked up because he threw it in the water. Acid potion. That would be a way to get us out of the um, holy mountain. Although we would have to kill Steve who did that. Keep it in mind. Okay. Oh shit, he's got a wand. Circle of shielding. Okay. Well, there were far worse things he could have had on him. Hmm. I'm not doing sufficient damage right now, that's for sure. Okay. See if we can get this place to start draining. Ow. Where in the hell did you come from? Anyway. about need to breathe and almost drowned. All right. We were fine in the end, though. We don't have any light spells, so we can't really explore that area yet. But we will be back because our objective is on the far side of that. Um... Not to say that we'll be back anytime soon, because... While our objective's on the far side of that, we need to be a lot stronger to deal with it. She had a better digging wand, or really any kind of digging wand at all. Okay. Let me through, damn you. Well, we don't have any way to dig anymore, except getting lucky and finding something explosive. Like 
Hmm. Looks like the acid potion might be out of our reach. Unless we find something useful. Well, I guess that's our current objective then. Go find something useful. And make more money, of course. Ideally, I'd like to bust out of the Holy Mountain without having to fight. That requires like a teleport wand, or um, a flask of teleportadium, or a Homebringer teleport plus um, a trigger spell. Or any number of other similar things. Okay. There's a wand in there. Oh shit. Yeah, stay right there. Or I can ensure you will die. Ambrosia potion? Uh, yes please. Figure out what I'm gonna get rid of to grab it. But I pretty much know what I'm gonna get rid of, I guess. Go. Build that thing without hardly even trying. Largely because I got lucky. But let's not talk about that. There's another one? Holy shit. down here. I promise nothing bad will happen. There we go. That worked out surprisingly well. Now. I'm going to go ahead and drop this into the oil, where it can be a future problem for future Milo. I'll take the Ambrosia Potion. potion. What I'll use it for, but we'll put it there. Polymorphine. How about we just leave that alone? Make me much happier if we didn't touch that. Actually... you. Damn it. Throw it down in here. Yeah, down in here. No, not that way. Kick this box down in there.
No, wrong way. Screw you. I could somehow kick it up there. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's not happening. Uh, maybe we can find another box out this way somewhere. Or I can just wiggle myself in somehow. There's got to be a way to get in there from somewhere. Maybe we can come in from this side. Mm. No boxes or anything? Nope. Oh, that's problematic. Also, there's another one of those fire idiots down there. Well, this is most distressing. I'm only like a pixel or two away from being able to get in there. If I had a hold of that um, acid flask we saw earlier... Oh well. Mm, I don't think those... Actually, here, let's try this. Let's drop the Berserkium. Let's pick up that cocktail potion and see if that can do enough damage to something, anything. Just come back later? Well, later it won't be worth it is the thing. It's an early wand, so it's highly unlikely that it's any good. But it could be. Ew. It could be a valuable upgrade. Right now. Just probably not later. Yeah, I highly doubt there's anything down there that can actually be burned out. But maybe just open up with one like one pixel or something, and let us through. Was worth a try. It looks like a non shuffle, too. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to get this back up. Stop right there, in the name of the law. Nope. Alright. Go out this way and see if there's anything we can find. If I could find a bomb wand or something, we'd be in there instantly. for an accident kill. It was very accidental. <clears throat> Hello, Bo. And Dread. Welcome here. Oh, 
I'd really like to find something, anything that lets me dig a little bit more because I've also found an acid potion that would get me out of the Holy Mountain if I wanted. Okay, there's a tablet we could take if we so desired, which I might as well. If I pick that barrel along here, mm, no, I wouldn't be able to get it high enough. Darn. Oh well. I'm gonna do a quick sweep up higher to see if there's anything we can kick down that's explosive, but I think I already checked for most of that kind of thing. It's only a tiny hope that that wand would contain anything useful anyway. It looks like both the acid flask and that wand are inaccessible. Due to me having no digging whatsoever. Again, maybe if I can get some lava down there. I don't know if anything things are any of the things that are in my way are susceptible to melting though. I'm trying to get a lava flask sounds exciting. Not the little sheds. Okay. I'm not sure how I missed exploring over here. Seems like it's going to be hard to get to as well. Now I wish I kept that um, fire flask because I can just burn my way in. Hey you, over here. Yeah, right here. I hoping you'd set fire to it, but anyway. Well, you suck. <laughs> oh, there's a whole cache of explosives. We can just kick those over and blow our way in. This is probably a grand mistake, by the way. I don't know what that enemy is, but I'm guessing he's probably not friendly. Oh, he's the guy who throws flasks, isn't he? Here. Throw flasks 
No, don't throw him that break. Throw him that land in that pool. Stay safe. I'm not sure what he just dumped there, but I think it was acid. It just turned into really nasty stuff. Toxic rock. And a lot of it. Alright. There was a flask of some sort down in there. I don't think we're going to be able to get it now. Even if we wanted it, which I don't know if we did or not. Alright. Well, we've got a good amount of gold. So let's see if we can go over there and see if we can get down into those areas. Some stuff I haven't explored yet. Over there somewhere is where the um, acid flask that I wanted is. Okay, I don't think I can get down into there. Maybe I can? Go through, damn it. There we go. See anything I actually want in there, but who knows? Maybe we can kick this down in there. Worth a try. No, don't go down there. Damn it. Oh well. Oh well, we should probably get out of here. There's some copper isn't useful for anything as far as I can tell. Hmm. Water acts weird in this game. I can't kick that anywhere useful, can I? No, it'd be way too high to get up to these areas. Yeah, there's the acid flask I want. One well-placed bomb would get me into that, but... I would need to, um, have a bomb for that to work. Piece of shit. Hmm, that actually worked. Oh, come on. Alright. The game is now conspiring against me. Let's go on to the Holy Mountain. I don't think there's anything else accessible that I am interested in. <laughs> yeah, game says no. Alright. Now, what can we buy here? Bitter bowl, bomb, the flammable gas, fireball orbit. Pretty good. Vertical barrier, double spell, teleport bolt. Well, there's our key to get out of here. Okay, there's any. There's a okay non shuffle. There's another fireball but This is probably the best wand we could possibly buy right here, except for the shuffle. In every other way, it's pretty good. This would be acceptable.
Yes, yeah, so I think we should probably buy these two wands. Alright. We got a couple teleport bolts. A summon hollow egg, which I'm sure I can find a use for. A chain bolt. A spitter bolt with timer. A couple of triple cut bolts. And a fireball orbit. Okay, this is definitely the best wand we have at the moment. Tempted to buy this spitter bolt. It's cheap. I don't know if it's good idea or not. Uh, what I'm going to do is purchase this torch and this double spell. Okay, there were no chainsaws or anything like that here, were there? No? Okay. Is that unlimited spells right there? It is. Well, that's pretty much impossible to pass that one up. That immediately makes some things better. Okay. So that's going to be my teleport wand. Fireball orbit on that. That consumes a lot of mana. A lot of mana. Okay, maybe we won't put fireball orbit on that just yet. Torch is interesting, but we're going to stick it over there for now. Um, yeah. Alright, we've got a bomb wand. Got a teleport wand. See if we can get out of here without... Pissing off the gods. Alright. Back from food. Welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and put the torch on the bomb wand. Light it up. There we go. I don't know why I didn't just cast bomb there because, let's face it, unlimited spells. There's no reason not to. Bastards. Ow. 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 Hold the spearing right, left, and center. Die. Okay, maybe we won't die. 
Either they're good shots or I'm bad at dodging. I'll leave you to guess which it is. Um, I might change this slightly. Get a little more range on this. Piece of shit. Come on. I actually hit the damn thing. We'll find them. Be that way. Go that way. is a bit distressingly low. I don't remember if... I don't think there's... Ow! That hurt quite a lot. I don't think there's anything off this side of the map because um, oh, I'm gonna try to describe it. Back into the wall of ways, there's a tall chasm that leads. And there's stuff back there, but it's not accessible from this cave. Accessible from the one above and the one below, but not this cave. There's no reason to go to that side. I don't remember what, if anything, is on the other side, though. Here, just before I grab it. Oh well. I really, really, really should go back to the holy mountain and become healed. First, the non-shuffle, mana charge and mana max are good, spread is really good, the cast delay and recharge time are, eh, they're not terrible, they're not great either, and capacity is really bad. That said, Might be. Oh, 
Just what the doctor ordered for some of our higher mana endeavors. Sure could have. Maybe. Okay, I kind of recognize this weird mix. I wouldn't exactly call this a sniper wand. Well, maybe. There's some gold. Oh, there's a wand right there. Disc projectile. Non-shuffle, two capacity. Stats aren't great. Yeah, I don't want any of that, I guess. Back up we go. Okay. Uh, Holy Mountain is this way. Yes, this way. Interesting. Dad. Damn it. I don't need this for any given thing. Why isn't this casting now? Oh, did I use this one? Okay. didn't want to collapse it because this is annoying. But I suppose once it's collapsed, it's collapsed and we can just clear it out. And I don't need it for the wand tinkering or anything. I just don't want to collapse it because I'd rather it was intact. For a variety of unimportant reasons when you get right down to it. Everything still functions after it's collapsed. Alright, what I really came here for is the heal. Mm, you know, see a flammable gas. It's unlimited now. Terrible, terrible things could be done with that. Nah. Alright, I need to reshuffle these wands so that I know what is what. I need some better wands. This one does okay damage, but there's nothing particularly spectacular about it. Mostly just that I have some really good spells on it. Not that it's actually a good wand. Or at least really good spells for this early in the game. Okay. 
Okay, nothing of any use up there. Light that on fire for later. The lake will be drained. Oh, get off me, you. Okay. Go refill on some water. <clears throat> the edge of the holy mountain. Non shuffle, charge rate, mana max are okay. Zerkian potion, don't really care really much. Alright. Death crosses. Which I've never used. And I'm suspicious of anything that looks too much like a plasma cross. I expect that the death in their name is short for your death. That thing was spitting acid. That's not okay. First position. Hmm. Okay, what is that? Firebolt with trigger. Firebolt with trigger might actually be good now because it's unlimited. Um, it's four spells for cast, which I don't actually want. Its stats are pretty bad as well. I'll grab it. I'll take two firebolt with triggers. Then we'll swap it for the one wand we had before. I don't think I want that rock.
Okay. Explosion on slimy enemies. Double scatter. Unstable crystal. Non-shuffle. Got really good recharge and reasonable capacity. Okay. Sludge potion, which I'd rather leave alone. Thank you. There's a wand. Ooh, short range homing. Early short range homing, too, and it's strictly better than this wand in every possible way. That's an easy decision to what to get rid of. Take that. Oh, well, well. All right, let's go hide in a corner and think about our spells for a bit. Spitter bolts are cool and all. We're probably gonna end up getting rid of most of those. Unless... I thought I had... Okay, we got a spitterbolt with timer. Short range homing. Right here. Spitterbolt timer. Short range homing. Triple spell. Three more spitterbolts. And a fireball orbit stuck in there somewhere. Relatively fast fire speed. Okay, we have acquired nuke area. <laughs> Energy orbs and heavy spread. Uh, I don't know which one I would drop instead of that. Let's unload this wand for now. me a little shit. All right. Okay. Gotta swap it for that one. Um... Let's see. Honestly, most of the damage from this is probably coming from the Fireball War, but I don't know if this is actually worth sticking on. It's 30 mana drain. I'm probably going to want these energy orbs later, though. At least some of them. We'll throw some of them up there. Alright. This is a better wand as far as capacity goes. Also, it can always cast. Heavy shot. First plus health thing. He almost died there. Scarily close. Mm. 
Okay, what do we have for digging? Just bomb wand still? The firebolt might work. Okay, yeah, fireball is a shitty digging thing. Large fireball, though. Much better. Invisibilium potion, a nice looking wand, with some nice things all I want on it. Mm, it's an okay wand. All of our current wands are pretty much better than it. But it does have some nice spells, so we'll go ahead and strip it. Egg. Okay. Okay. That's definitely more black holes than we need at the moment, but never say no to black holes. Okay. what this is for. Teleportadium. Different to Acceleradium. I should try to find some a large amount of fungus somewhere so that I can um, get a container of it just in case I decide I want to unstable teleportadium and I just set it all on fire Herb. okay purifying powder what does it do let's find out Okay, it converts any liquid except lava and slime to water, pouring it into lava turns it into gunpowder. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of that then. dead now. That hurt a lot. Most of it was my own fault. On second thought, what would I do with it except dump it into lava to watch it turn into gunpowder because that'd be cool. Use it to make water. Let's just dump it right here, and if I want, I can come back and get more later. Assuming I remember where it is. I 
I'd rather have some fungus for future fungal shift shenanigans. Should I decide to engage in them? Okay. There's a wand above us. There's some teleportadium here, there, and everywhere. Speaking of water, let's refill right here. over here to find out what this wand was. Oh, nice! Luminous drill with timer. Hell yes. Um, as a wand is not that great, though. Okay, luminous drill with timer is huge for me. light up this ant thing. A whole bunch of concentrated mana, which I wouldn't mind having. Oh, there's a whole potion of it right there. Uh, what would I even give up for that, though? Nothing. Nothing. That's what I would give up for that. Except maybe that tablet. But I have plans for that tablet later. Because I did a bit of looking up last night, and I have figured out what I need a tablet for. Or one of the things you can use a tablet for, I guess. Namely, remember that house on the lake we discovered earlier? I've discovered how you actually get into that metal area below it. Without it to just teleporting you back to the surface constantly. But we're going to have to go revisit that. You can just dig into the metal area? Yeah, I tried that and there was nothing in there. Unless I missed something. Which is plausible. But in any case, I've discovered how you're supposed to get in there, and so I might as well give it a try. Um... That was really stupid. I almost killed myself. Fireball Orbit. Homebringer Teleports, which I don't want. A couple double spells, which I do kind of want. It is quickly worse than all my wands by a large amount. Let's grab it so we can get that light spell, if nothing else. Uh, I don't know if I need another fireball, but I already have one. But yeah, let's get two. Why not? Double spells never hurt anybody. Double scatters aren't worth it. A second light can sometimes be useful. The rest of it I don't want, though. Alright. How's Finland Simulator treating me? So far, so good. I've got a relatively powerful wand. Hopefully whatever it was did that died. I can't see shit.
That is extremely annoying. Even funnier the second time? Well, maybe for you. <laughs> Do I have any better triggers? Not really. Alright, listen here, you little shit. Yeah, it's dead alright. Didn't get any gold out of it, but it's dead. I am low on health, I need to be careful. That is not me being careful. Oh, there's an ad mana. Um, let's see. Not a very good wand. I don't want the swappers. I've gotten some really good spells this time. I've got short range homing already. I've got multiple fireball orbits. I've got a spitter bolt with timer. I've got several luminous drills with timers. Got a large fireball. My first perk was unlimited spells. Go ahead and drain most of this water. Well, falling in there was not part of the plan, but anyway. Here we are, nonetheless. <laughs> I need to find my way back down there so I can find out what was in that chest. Would I consider using the um, Unstable Crystal instead of Spitter Bolt? I don't know. I wonder how they would interact with homing, actually. Unstable crystals never really struck me as useful. They just kind of sit there until something walks close. Okay, that wand wasn't great. Okay, we need to go the other way. Although I'm kind of curious how they would interact with... Um, It just kabooms right at the end. What happens if we put multiple on? Hmm. That seems like it has a lot of potential to be an instant Milo killer. I need to find a cooperative enemy to see how that would interact with um, homing though. If they can gain altitude while homing. Uh, I don't think I want any of those things. Glitter bombs. They don't seem bad, they just... I don't really need them. Okay, where was I? Above this area, maybe? It does a good deal of damage. I'd need a um, longer range. Hmm. 
I think it's they'd work. I think it'd work a lot better if I had a um, if I had the homing on the first projectile, and if I had um, something nice and long ranged, and then put something to explode those crystals immediately somehow in there. Like if I swap one of the crystals for a spitter bolt. So it explodes instantly as soon as it arrives at its destination. And then gave it a... Like if I had a spark bolt with trigger. Put on there maybe. Or even a spark bolt with timer. Great chest, very rare. It certainly had enough money in it. Yeah, this is definitely doing pretty good damage. I'm not sure if I want to keep using it though. Mm, I don't have anything against it yet. I guess what's the worst that can happen? I have to pay another little bit of money because it's time to respawn. Unstable teleportatium, I don't really want that. Where was that damn chest I discovered before that I was emptying the area out around it? It was over on this side of the map, I thought. Obviously not down this low, though. teleport bolt. I should be using it. Okay, this was not it, but this is a different chest that I'm purposely quite happy to drain the area around. Ow! I hurt a little bit. I think. Hmm. Okay. The non-shuffle, 21 capacity. Mana charge is only 97, though. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Always cast Rain Cloud, which isn't so good. But at a very minimum, it's close enough to as good as this. Oh, that has always cast Heavy Shot, which is probably better. Um... We'll swap that out and use this as a depot wand for now. Got low worse cast delay and recharge time than our current wand, and I don't really like that always cast. Otherwise, this would be a great storage place. Essence to power. It does have a triple spell, which is amazing. I need to sort this, and a lot of this needs to get dumped. Honestly. Oh, it's not a bad spell, that's for sure. Or not a bad wand. I could probably... Yeah. I could probably use it to make my current one better, but... that damn chest. I'm pretty sure it, well maybe it was on fire and it broke or something. I 
I didn't think it was. Oh well. There's a dark area below us. Let's go see what's there. Once you got 24 slot wand with only 100 mana charge, carry to the vault. <laughs> yeah, if you have enough add manas, which I do have one now. They, um, it says they add 30 mana to the wand, but the actual stats say they reduce mana drain by 30. And so that can offset a low recharge, as long as you recharge, at least this is how it seems to me, I might be wrong about this, as long as your recharge is high enough to um, cover each shot after you subtract all of the costs minus the add manas. Have had managed to trigger damage and a boatload of spells in the payload. <laughs> oh, get away from me! You're not supposed to bounce, damn you. Well, that wasn't very good dodging on my part. The Sam. Bouncing. Here we go. Okay, that's an empty wand I dumped early on. I think. Okay. Convenient gold delivery. This side over here does not contain anything. Question mark. I think it's the side that's blank. Yeah, because it's only the second level. Yeah, I've been over here before. I mean, It's probably about time to go down a level now. Yeah, let's go down a level. 
All right. What do we got here? Loading arc. I don't know what that does. I don't think I've ever used it. Got nuke. Critical on oiled enemies. Critical on bloody enemies. Damage plus, which we will of course buy. whole bunch of okay you no know, I need to try something if I um okay well first of all let's start ditching spells that we don't need of which we have a lot of a lot of Essence to power. I'm gonna dump that somewhere. And we might come back for it. Okay. Teleport bolt. Versus small teleport bolt. I'm not sure which I actually want. Black holes. We'll dump all but one. Death cross, we'll dump all of them. How much damage does this do? That's a good amount. I just don't want to kill myself with explosions. Bitter bolts. We'll dump all of them for now. Unstable crystals. We'll dump all of them for now. With the understanding that we will probably come back for at least some of this stuff. Firebolt with trigger. Probably not worth anything anymore. Energy orb is probably worth keeping, but we'll dump some for now. Okay. Large firebolt is pretty good. I built wands around that that were just OP as heck. Oops, didn't mean to pick that up. Guys, chat, show me the power of homing circle of shielding. Usually it's limited, but since you have infinite spells, no, I have never considered the fact that homing might home in on me. Okay, it does not home in on me. Um, unless it has to be combined with something else, which is entirely possible. Add damage and try against the statue. Oh. Like that. Let me guess. Um. Oh, double spell. Wait, I want to give this... damage to the spell itself. I need a better delivery method. Okay. No? Unless the existing ones are protecting it now. Let's go try the other statue. I need to look at these perks anyway. Extra life. Don't need that. Projectile eater. Hmm? It does nothing. It's possible. I'll have to keep it set up this way so I can try it against some enemies later. Check tells the fly into a small sector behind you disappear. 
Enemy radar. No, I don't think I want either any of these. Like community. Stainless armor. And peace with the gods. Um Electric immunity seems pretty okay. Not amazing, just pretty okay. Oh yeah, they definitely know what they want. It has to get pretty close before it zooms in, so it definitely needs to be given a target. Set this up so I can grab that stuff quickly. Um, fireball orbit seems really gratuitous for this. Oh, well, maybe it isn't. Add a little bit of light, because why not? And then... I wish I had some stuff that would give me more fire rate. I guess I do have this. Which reduces the recharge time. What is the recharge time on this? 0.23. Okay, you know, we can get a good bit of speed out of that. If we do this. The problem is all those damn circles hanging around now. Can't get rid of them. I assume they disappear when you get far enough away from them. Uh, floating arc, I don't think I've ever seen that. So what's it do? Makes projectile float above the ground. Hmm. That would be funny to put on a bomb. Summon large explosive box. This might be better than the unstable crystal. For the um, 200 damage explosion. Yeah. Might go really well into that combination. Anyway, let's dump this double scatter spell because they're already going to be worthless. <clears throat> Need a mist. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll test it out. If it doesn't work, then we can just swap some other stuff in there and go. Uh, I should build a second damaging wand just in case, though. What happens if I put multiple fireball orbits on something? This can only end well. <laughs> what happens is I can't even cast it because it costs too much. Actually, wait. Nope, still too expensive. How much does this have? 123. Okay. Well, I guess that works. Reach recharge time is really bad though. That makes it a little bit better. That allows us to run out of mana quite quickly by just allowing it to wrap. Probably not a good idea, actually, then. Sometimes I'd rather have consistency than I would speed. Alright, um... Yeah, let's go try this out. If it doesn't work, uh, 
Oh well. If it does, then... Cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to buy All Seeing Eye. I bought it before and never really been that enthused about it. Do you have anything that has good recharge in here? Bunch of recharge tens. And then this thing. Oh, that was something else I was going to try out just for the demo, but... I'm not going to buy that wand, but I can try it out without that wand. Yeah, that does make double length for the drill. It's silly, not a good idea, but... Also, I appear to have flooded everything. Oops. Um... I used Nuke the very first time I ever got it to kill the bridge boss. It took a long time, and it wasn't very effective, but it worked. Sure, I'm gonna buy it anyway. Uh, what's the worst that can happen? It doesn't actually seem to do that much damage, but it does um, make very impressive explosions. Oh, it does do damage to them. Quite a bit, actually. Oh, wow. And it's off on a mission. Okay. All right. That works quite well. Um, suddenly, circle of shielding not quite as crap as I thought it was. Considering it was always a pain in the butt to use. All right. Um, can I do anything else to make it even more impressive? A better homing would be good. It doesn't really do incredible damage, but also I just took a whole bunch of damage on myself. Does the interesting thing is I can still use the left behind circles to protect myself. Okay. That's kind of silly, not gonna lie. Protective circles of doom. It doesn't matter if the DPS is a little low, if it keeps stuff from shooting me, I'm okay with it. Also, I can shoot through walls because of course I can. Alright. That's definitely an interesting weapon. Okay, I need some kind of digging wand. Yeah, it gets a little bit of wrap, not enough to matter. I need some chainsaws is what I need. I should head back in the Holy Mountain direction because there were a bunch of wands there that I was interested in. I 
darn no chainsaws. Um, let's swap that temporary. We don't want the death cross. We have a bunch of them ready. We just want the quads. I don't even think I want the fire arc. But I do want that other one back because it'll be a good depot. Big through the middle, you piece of shit. There we go. Alright. Go find something to squish. disappeared by the time I got down there. There we go. Another essence to power. We don't need that. Stats in this aren't amazing. Yeah. Hitting the damn circle that's embedded in the walls. Let me go. I kind of like the way the unstuck works in this game. You could be easily forgiven for not knowing that this even has an unstuck. Pentagon. the pentagon formation. We might as well take the crit on oil. Not interested in the rest of it. I know where Wandmart is. I've heard the term, but I don't know where it is. Is it actually is that underneath the desert somewhere? Maybe. And while I do have infinite healing, it is quite slow infinite healing. I turned the settings down considerably from where the mod put it originally. Because it was the first run I did with the mod was just way too easy. This is at a more fun level. I don't really want that. through, please. Damn it, all the gold disappeared by the time I get down there. The desert, if you don't mind chat, taking away some of the joy and excitement of discovery. One more size sensitive ones in the game can guide you there. Um, to be perfectly frank, I look a lot of shit up for myself. So I don't really mind too many spoilers. Because, let's face it, if I wanted to try to find everything in this game for myself, I would be here for years and I don't have that amount of time. <laughs> I have other things I want to play sometimes. But I'm wondering, now I'm starting to wonder if that's what is... Okay, there's a thing in the desert that's got a pitcher of mushroom and two down arrows beside it. Oh. 
Do love. Drive for 14 months. Thank you very much. Also, hello, hello. Welcome here. Okay, but below that, I've been meaning to go check that out for quite a while now and never getting around to actually finding out if there is something below it or if I have misread that sign completely. Probably, with what I've got now, I could probably go kill the desert boss. And he might drop something interesting. Like last time he dropped a um, copy three random spells spell. The time before that he dropped a bunch of cast various kinds of random spell stuff. That actually wasn't very useful. But was at least interesting. Yeah, I don't want that. So I should probably make a trip out there about the time I'm starting to think that I'm done here. Um, let's build a... Let's just go ahead and drop some bombs. They're way cruder than the... Um, they're not call it. They're also way more effective. Been over this way before. Can't remember what, if anything, is over on. Let's go over the map edge on this side and see what we can find. She... That's the bottom entrance to where the bridge boss is, isn't it? Bridge boss is, isn't it? <laughs> What is that? Acid Trail. Acid Trail sounds interesting and also very dangerous. We'll grab that. Just so I have it. I don't really want the glitter bombs. We'll grab the triple scatter though. <laughs> Those circles, they lie in wait for anybody who comes along. I need a better homing thing to really make them kick off. They're vicious. If I had a longer range homing projectile, I'm willing to bet they would be even scarier. Concentrated light. Probably not worth grabbing, but we'll grab it anyway. And actually, is that a better one than some of my existing ones? No. Purely on capacity alone, it's not worth it. Oh. Yeah, those things are downright murderous. Worm pheromone. clear this place out just so I don't have to come back or spend much time when I come back if I ever come back. I'm not necessarily looking for um, to be a little share. Well, okay. That didn't work out very well for me. Now, to get to the surface. going to involve some slow, laborious putting. 
I don't really have much to make this go faster. Which is deeply unfortunate. Go ahead and put those in. Unstable crystal would probably be too dangerous and wouldn't be that useful. Put in add mana. Uh, let's just put in a couple spitter bolts. Or a spitter bolt. Yeah, I wonder how this what this does now. It certainly does something. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't, actually I shouldn't use the spitter bolts for this because they drain five mana. Is there anything that drains less mana than I have available? I don't really have a selection of good projectiles right now. Or rather I should say cheap ones. All right, that's the best we've got, I guess. Actually, wait. I don't need to do this. I can go out using the, um, the bypass. Okay. Free money. Yeah, I can just take the chasm up. Because this level... Oh wait, no. I'd have to go down and then back up. Because I respawned at the level where I had previously bought the respawn AK and the coal mine. So we'll go down and then we should just be able to go up easily. I forgot about these ones. Might as well check them to see if they're anything good. Always cast bubbly bounce. Energy orbs, quadruple scatter. Well, we want the quad scatter. We got plenty of energy orbs in the area above us. I don't think I want that. a little bit of fun for them. Um, ping pong path might be worth grabbing. There's some fun things that can be done with that. Did I buy another revive? Yes, I think I did. Yeah. Right to revive. I bought it um, as soon as I respawned. I need to set up a teleport too. We got a small teleport and a teleport bolt. Give me all your 
money. Okay. And this should be where we're going. Right here. I think there was a cable on the side that had um, an orb in it. That was where I had gotten um, Nuke. This doesn't look familiar though. sure what that is. Hmm. Okay, there's definitely something to this place and I might have screwed it up already. seem dangerous. Maybe we should leave the area and see if that... Oh, there he is. He seems to try to maintain a certain distance. Maybe? Oh, he moves in opposite pattern as I do. Or does he? His movements are definitely based on my movements somehow. But only when I'm flying. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Where I'm looking changes where he moves. Come on. say this is weird as heck. I noticed that there is something going on down at the bottom. That looks a lot like a timer of some sort. But I have no idea what's actually supposed to be going on here. <laughs> I'm asking you a lap. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. No, oh, don't do that. That corner always throws me way off.
Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm doing anything useful here or not. Maybe I need to go faster or it just doesn't do anything besides be silly, which is entirely possible. That was interesting. That was not the cave I was looking for, though. This is, however, the cave I was looking for. Somewhere in here. This is where the nuke call was. The middle dial is counting down as it did laps. Here. Let me look that spot out. Wall, the chasm between Lava Lake and Snowy Depths, the crack in the wall is cracked, leads to a small racetrack where you find a small racing cart. Okay. Racing car, okay, yeah, yeah. The little race cart has no official name, but the community has affectionately dubbed it Quarrel. The race cart is not confined to this area and can be taken outside of it with some careful navigating. It's impervious to everything in the world, colliding harmlessly with solid walls and surfaces, but has been known to break or bump potions on occasion. can carry something. Make it invisible. Okay, apparently it's got a use somewhere that you can do something with it, but that's kind of not intended, I guess. Apparently the three, t three dials are... Um, here. Shut up. You're loud and annoying. Uh, the three dials are your current time, um, what was it again? Your current time, the lap time, and your overall best time. But anyway. And yeah, apparently that's all it is, just a QE Easter egg. Okay, good. Get through the bridge. Uh, I'm not going to spawn the bridge boss because that can only lead to pain and suffering. I kind of doubt this would be able to kill him. Then again, you never know. Is there anything I would want to add to that to make it better? I don't think so. Critical on oil would be nice if I get a way to oil enemies. Otherwise, I don't think so. Alright. Yeah, I was. I thought I might be counting down myself, but it wasn't. The... Okay, so this tablet is from there. But that's fine. We have enough gold at this point that turning a tablet in for more gold is not worth. Let's just 
go ahead and cut through here because I feel like it, that's why. Catch me in for the gold despawns, damn you. Yes, we got it. That was very worth. Completely changes the course of the run. You know, maybe we should just pull that out. Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. Now, um, was there anything else I wanted to do up here first? That's interesting. I think I'm going to go smack the desert boss in the face. Ah, uh, no, actually, let's go. Go to the mysterious sign in the desert. Okay, here we go. This place right here. I've been wondering for a long time if there was anything below this. Because I had two theories what this one might mean. Either A, this was some kind of Easter egg to try to tell you how to do um, fungal shifts. Because you hold the down button to eat. Or, um... It was just straight up telling you that there's cool things below you. I've never really discovered which it might be. And it looks like it's probably the cool things below at this point. Why don't I use Firebolt to dig? Because I honestly forgot I had it set up that way. And then I had it. There's definitely things below this. Yeah, Firebolt would probably be a better digging one. Let's do that, actually. Precision firebolt placement. There's definitely something down here. strange terrain. Look how far over this other wall here is. This is very weird terrain. 
Also, I'm extremely glad I have this, because trying to kill that many of those bastards would be non-trivial. some lava on me anyway. Hmm. It's a very interesting looking structure. Well, it would help if I actually targeted the right thing with that. I have a lot of shielding circles. Alright, I probably should put the short range teleport on this thing because it seems like it's actually more usable. Safer to use at least. Yeah, these things are scary. Damage is merely okay. Okay, it's just a repository of weird fungus there. Oh! Okay, that sign on the surface makes way more sense now. Because it is teaching you how to do a fungal shift. And telling you to dig at the same time. Okay, that's cool. Um, is there anything below this now? Um, let's see. This is a terrible idea, but I'm going to try to do a shift while holding Ambrosia and see what happens. I think that was actually enough to do a shift. Either we're going to shift away all the ambrosia in the world. Okay. Toxic sludge. Well, the ambrosia definitely didn't become toxic sludge, did it?
No, we turned water into toxic sludge. Oh no. Well, that wasn't what I wanted at all. <laughs> Okay, that is a bit of a problem. <laughs> well, clearly we need to do another fungal shift and try to get rid of the toxic sludge then. That is definitely the right solution to this problem. before it works again, doesn't isn't that, that right? I don't remember how long it is, but I do remember watching somebody else do fungo shifts and they had to wait a bunch of time between them. Pool's cold. That's nice. Anyway. Remind me that I do eventually need to attempt to see if we can do a fungal shift to make toxic sludge into something less less suboptimal. Although we'll probably just turn more things into toxic sludge. Yeah, probably go time probably time to go fight the pyramid boss. Uh, let me just check something real quick. This place doesn't seem to have anything interesting, so I doubt this is the fabled one, Mark. But it was a place in the desert that I should check out at some point. That is blue blood. Okay. Screw you, you bastard. Nobody likes your kind. I guess he is an electric one, so he's not really a threat, though I'm immune to electric. Hmm? No, you can suggest whatever kind of build you want. That's the easiest way to learn about wands, I've found. Just have people in chat tell me, no, you're, no, you're an idiot, do it this way. And then I figure out why it has to be done that way. <laughs> I was just about to go dump water on myself. I don't have water. I need to um, reevaluate my instincts here. This is intensely problematic. Lumi timer, mana, teleport. Can't really let you teleport through walls, reduce the time you need to dig. I think I need the add mana on there though. No, I don't.
Probably should put this in my second slot. Okay. Yeah, that was a good idea. I could also use the cast at a distance thing for the same effect. Except this is actually probably better because it reduces the charge time as well. If I could add a, um, a chainsaw to this with a double spell, that'd be really good. Alright, let's go see if this guy's going to give me anything good today. Um, I don't have much health. I should maybe reconsider this. Or at least wait a little bit. Well, that was a suboptimal place for that to drop. Anytime he's capable of taking damage, he is going to take a lot of damage from now on. Actually, can he take damage from this? Hmm. He's not open right now, which is fine. He's open right now. And now he isn't. It is killing the ads. Ow. Yeah, I don't think you can take damage from this. Well, that worked out about the way I expected, I guess. Ah, does anyone want some delicious, refreshing, toxic sludge? You add NOLA to the teleport, you make what's known as ADHD wand. <laughs> I can see how that might have gotten that name. Alright, so we would need to use something completely different if we were going to try to kill him. Circle of shielding is not suitable. Although we do have several possibilities that probably wouldn't hurt. Hmm. Chain bolt might be okay. I don't know. Or just putting lots of explosives on something. Large fire bolt. Anyway, let's get out of here again and go back to the desert. We need to go down a level. Oops. I am a fool. It's so hard to stay out of that damn shit. This place is like a million times worse. I need to get a water equivalent of some kind. Yeah, this is very much not great. I've used up most of my health now, just in dunking into crap. I probably should have used the Ambrosia to not take so much damage, but... Uh, 
Oh well. Okay. We're definitely going to try shifting that to something else. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to be sad. But at this point, I really don't care what it becomes as long as it doesn't become more toxic stuff. Everywhere. <laughs> Water the polymorphine? Okay, that would be worse. Alright, um... What if it's been long enough? Okay, so we need to figure out what I'm going to use to kill this damn boss. Uh, nuke is probably out. Okay, we need to add the mana to this. the light on the end. Let's remove the homing. Okay. And then... Here, wait. Do I even need that? So this doubles it. But I don't think I need that in the first place. What I do want, though, is the two, as the two X mana application. So I probably want to apply that a little differently if I want to do it that way. Namely, if I insert something cheap. Now, I need like a chainsaw to make that work. Better ball timer. Yeah, that's probably better for this. Okay, so we don't do homing. We do do damage plus. Don't think we need the light spell here. Yeah, that's not doing anything useful for us. The Loomis drill is enough. Um anything else I can add that would just go ahead and add damage to it don't think so acid trail maybe but that seems like a bad idea I wish I had some chainsaws okay do I have a wand that has a better charge this one That might be a better wand just across the board for this. Okay, it's a lot slower. But I can possibly fix that. Where's the other luminous drill? There it is. By... No, I can't. Luminous drills just cost too much. If I had more add manas, I could make it work. Add manas or chainsaws would make this way better. Go to Walmart for chainsaws? Okay, where is Walmart exactly? It's in the desert. But where in the desert?
because I thought. Here, let's reshuffle this a little bit. Put that up there. Go past the pyramid. Okay. Oh, by the scales. All right. a bit of bomb dumping. There'll be something down here eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, I definitely should rebuild that shield wound. Come on, stop burning, damn you. Yeah, because this wand isn't quite good enough for what I want to do with it. Okay, that plus that. Add mana. I want homing on there as well. We want the spitter bolt to give it a little more range to get it to where it needs to go, because this is only short range homing. If we can get long range or just like normal homing, that would be amazing. I wonder what happens if I add ping pong path to this. Nothing. Okay. Well, it's worth a try. How about fireball or what? Bad things. Because now we're stuck with a fireball there burning forever and ever and then. Until it finally despawns in a year. This looks like the same kind of train that was in that other place. But this is not the same, that's for sure. Overgrown cavern. This looks like an exciting place. Um, let's find out if enough time has passed for us to do a fungal shift. Well, that was rather sudden. Did I not buy a respawn? I did not buy a respawn. Damn you. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> I forgot to buy a respawn. Alright, what do I got? Spark bolts, which means we can dig. Water potion. Alright, let's go see if we can get that opening. Oh, 
I become a little bit better at this as time goes by. But I'm still not anywhere close enough to get it reliably. Yeah, that's not good enough at all. You can feel when you've got it right because you just rock it up there. Like, it's not right. Oh. Damn it. Place oh, not wrong. Right. Distracted by the fungus? Yep, distracted by the fungus. It was very pretty fungus, admittedly. Okay, this feels a lot better, but nope, still not quite good enough. Closer. I think I wasted a little bit too much of my starting momentum by... starting gold. <laughs> There's a little tiny patch there where you can grab like four, sometimes five gold. Now this little jump here is a lot easier. As well, you do need water to make it. Or at least I've never been able to do it without water. You only need a little bit. Yeah, let's make the hole a bit bigger first. Okay, that should do it. Oh boy. This is really trivial because horizontal travel basically free. Give me a bunch of money. All right, start with extra health. Start with cash. Got some spark bolts, which are a pretty reasonable starting spell. Not necessarily my favorite, but one of the reasonable ones. Okay. Now this time, hopefully we won't shift away our water. I do have to say, shifting water into the toxic sludge was very bad for my continued health and the future success of the run. Okay. Before I screw around with this too much, we're probably going to drop in a bomb from above. I should go refill my water here at this pool. Having a ready source of water is extremely important. Hmm. Energy spheres. Okay, energy sphere is not bad. Uh, what's that? Non shuffle. Okay, that might be a better one than my current one. Yeah, that's a pretty good wand. Uh, 
I don't mind energy spear. It's not my favorite. But this early. Beggars can't be choosers and all that. Nastiness. Thankfully, I know the solution to this. Dump in water, mix well. And this is why shifting water into toxic sludge is particularly catastrophic. Because normally your solution to toxic sludge is water. Thank you very much for the follow, Joyous18. Really appreciate it. Is that a dice? Chaos die. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of that. With a name like that, it can only be a good thing. Okay, with a name like that, it can only be a bad thing. On second thought, that's a lot of fungus laying around here. Alright. That ended in a manner that was probably predictable. <laughs> Note to self the dice is dangerous, you dumbass. Uh, is that an acid potion? Yes, it is. Okay. Bouncing burst, unstable crystals. Well, let's put that over there in that slot so we don't accidentally grab it when we're looking for water. I'm going to try something I've seen somebody do. question is, can we get to the orb with this bit of shenaniganry? We can jam our face in there and cast it into the wall. It does look like that is possible. Uh, the problem is, how do we get up there now? Because I'm reasonably certain just because I made a hole doesn't mean we can get in. We need to come back with some water, I think. Alright. Well... No starting health money for us. And this looks too thick to break through easily. But we'll have to go in the front door like some kind of pleb. A truly tragic. The acid flask might turn out to be useful though, so we're going to keep that if I can. I just need to find some other flask I can dump out to get water. Bouncing shot. A single one. A bit underpowered. But if we can get a few things to help it along. I 
take a chainsaw. Or two. Okay, there's plenty of water. I just need to find a potion to stick it in. Well, that wasn't precisely what I wanted to do there, but it'll work out. This burn down a little because I don't have any way to put fire out. Mass. Why would you do that? Water, 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 where water. Oh, fine, do that way. Let's not go down in there just yet. Uh, there we go. Got an ambrosia potion. Oh, I don't want to dump that out for water. But sometimes being able to make yourself invincible for a short period of time is incredibly valuable. I love those little shits because they give you too much money. Not because each one's worth much, but because they're um, collectively a giant pile of loot. We've got a wand below us. There's a heart above us. Which is good. I haven't found a heart in the first area for a while now. Well, that is a thing to find. Um, is there anywhere I can drain it to safely? Of course not. Safely in polymorphine are... Well, they bear no relation to each other, let's put it that way. So maybe we could cut a hole in the side there and drop it down into this area. That would maybe be safer. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, note to self. Do not go down that area for any reason. There's going to be a lot of polymorphine piled up in here and in here. That should hold it back there at least. Magic missile. That probably was not worth getting, but... The non-shuffle. That's aren't even dead great. Poop, it leaks down here. There's a lot of wands in here. I almost never find this many wands in the first area. Okay, we've got polymorphs in every flipping wear down here. Well, holy shit, that's a lot of shoot. And glorious sea of flame. Die. Yep. All right. Well, that didn't work out very well. Uh, energy sphere is pretty nice. And bomb. I've got a swamp potion. Okay. I can't remember if energy, energy sphere. I can't remember if any energy sphere can dig up there. I'm going to assume that it can, and we'll find out otherwise when we get there. I 
probably didn't even need to dump. Because we can just get water here. Anyway. Okay, energy clear can't be, so we're good. doesn't freeze fast enough to make that worth trying to build up a platform. It's been a while since I've started with Energy Sphere. Now, of course, it's just bouncing around without helping me get a bigger hole. Yeah. I wonder if I could get a bomb wedged in there. Probably a bad idea. Alright, let's see if we can get up to that area. Wedge ourselves in a little bit. I didn't want to fall. some gold. Oh well. Not like I have anything better to do at the start of the run. Are you interested in doing a Noida Together lobby? Not really. I um, very, very rarely play anything multiplayer. About the only exception is the occasional Crab Champions game. Screwed that one up big time. All right, let's go get more water. There's plenty down this way. There should be. There's a pond down this way. Need to go Well, there certainly is a pond after all that rain. Anyway, I've seen people play Noted together. I don't know. It doesn't really look that interesting. and snow off top of this. Let's try to go get some good wands going. I'm not really a multiplayer kind of guy, just in general. Nobody 
somebody got crushed. Hmm. Okay. That's a better wand than our starter. Cast a little higher. Otherwise, it's better. If I can get a um, a chainsaw or really anything that'll decrease cast delay. Can you just die? Not sure why everything is on fire down here. Spell is definitely one of the stronger starting spells if you hit your target. Although sometimes that can be a pretty big F. Um, let's not waste any bombs there. Let's go up and around. We can blow that up to get down. this. Um, yeah, we'll waste a bomb on getting in more health. Boom. Not missing. Explosives. Right here. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hopefully drop it and then break it. I can just do that instead. I should burn open this passageway and go see what's down there. Other than, of course, this enemy. Crossed. Immediately we can go gain ourselves a little bit of gold here at the same time. Lamoxium. I wonder what that does. Bubble sparks! I kind of like bubble sparks. Uh, is that a good wand? Not really. But shuffle cast, actually, its stats are way better in every other way, though. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright.
some kind of potion up there. We'll see if we can get up there. I would like to get through that gap. Um... I don't think energy sphere will damage that at all. It will not. Spark pole, I don't think it does either. Nope. Alright, I don't really have any way to bombs, so I guess. I don't want to spend a bomb. Let's spend a bomb. That's the roots of that tree that's above us. That means we're pretty close to the edge of the world over here. That was impressively retarded. Can't believe I did that. I absolutely no better. All right, I'm just going to sit over here and think about what I've done for a minute. AKA let my health regenerate. Because that was a lot of damage. We only have one bomb left, which is unfortunate. We do have a pretty okay wand. Trying to trick the. Um... Okay, I don't think the unstuck code is going to help me. It helped me a little bit. Oh, there we go. We can get through anyway. Turn all that in the water. We can then use to refill. I don't think we're quite ready to go through yet. Was that actually you way at the train? It looks like it might a little bit. does. Okay. Frog extermination accomplished. Okay. Over this way. Dark area is calling. It almost has to have something in there. Okay, it doesn't really have to have something in there. I did not realize you could dig with bubble sparks. It only kind of sort of works. That's better than nothing. Hmm. 
Okay, have I explored everywhere in here that I want to explore? No. No. Not quite. of toxins. Another excitement. Go up a level and shoot those explosives. Should put that out right away. I was hoping to catch this on fire, which it does look like what I eventually did. Not the wisest person, but it worked out. It probably shouldn't have worked out, but it worked out. There's a chest right there. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and waste a bomb in this spot. Don't you dare, you piece of shit. Alright, waste a bomb was right. Hold her off the edge. Uh. <laughs> Would it be easier to dig down from here? It is going down very slowly, I think. There we go. I think they only do damage to train when they in the final explosion when they disappear. Okay. But you kind of have to get them so they can't bounce before you can actually dig with them. Makes an interesting proposition. I guess it's about perfect digging conditions for a bubble spark. A small crack that you can fire into. Alright, nothing out there I actually want. Chainsaw or two, and I can make this into a really cool. Even without, it's still not bad. I'd need a different wand, honestly. A non shuffle if I was going to add chainsaw and mana. Much. Yeah, this isn't even good recharge. 
Just because we don't have anything better doesn't mean it's not it's good. Just not actively painful. Hopefully we find something on the first mountain that'll get this going. Alright, we should probably just head on to the next area now. Buy a respawn. Go ahead and grab a heal. Why not? Uh, spark bolts. I don't really want. Small teleport bolt I do want very much. Numerous drill I want. Spark bolt trigger I want. Uh, where are you? TNT. Circle transmortification. I should have looked at the wands before I bought anything else. <laughs> that is a lot of luminous trolls with triggers. I'm going to want all of those. Don't know what I'll use them for yet. On oh, their spark bolts with timers. I mean, luminous bolt bolts with timers. Okay, so I want both of these wands. This one isn't even actually that bad. And this one is a shuffle. Looks crap, but it does have some nice stuff on it. I want this one too. Do any of these have really good charge? No. Alright. We'll buy that one. We'll buy that one. And I don't think there was any of these that were... I kind of want those. I don't know. We'll see if I need them. Alright, first of all, let's strip all the cool stuff off this. Triple scatter. I want the um, spark bolts with timers. Kind of I'm curious. Yeah, I do not want the bifurcated formation. Those suck. Heavy spread. Maybe. Okay, let's ditch these two wands for the ones we had. Because we don't want... Actually, wait, this one... Was this one better? It's got worse cast... Okay, it's got better charge. Hmm... Probably a good replacement for that one. Okay, double scatter is okay. I want to try something dumb with this. Let's just put all these spitter bolts back on. And I want to see what happens when I cast one spitter bolt. Yep. That would be really cool in an enclosed space. However, I'd prefer not to be in an enclosed space. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Good old saw blades on a trigger. I don't want to die. <laughs> also, I should grab this refresh because... The flammable gas might be fun. Wait, do I have any good... Yeah, I do have good digging now, so I don't really need more bombs. Okay, let's see what kind of perks we have. Projectile repulsion field. Uh, yes please. That'll help us stay alive a lot better. Also, it'll do fun things to our own projectiles. This is... 
silly, and I don't think it's a good idea, honestly. Well, let's try... Wait, that's a shovel. We don't want that. Okay, what's our best non-shuffle wand at the moment? Probably this one. And it only has 50 mana charge. Okay. We don't have many good wands. A bit problematic, but that's just the way it is. No. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's a great way to dump all our mana in a hurry. <laughs> um, don't mind how much damage this actually does. Odd Mega Man I'm playing. I don't think I'm playing Mega Man, Ash. Okay, that's... Okay, I'm out of damage. It's not amazing, though. Well, we've got a teleport bolt, so that's good. We've got a way to dig, so that's also good. We've got a way to let enemies know what we think of them. Even if it's a bit weird. Yeah, there's no reason to use energy sphere right now. We'll leave the spark bolts behind because why would I take them? Luminous drill we'll keep. We'll just leave this set up for now. It's not great, but it'll do until we find a few improvements. Oh well. It's not like we need to keep it that way anyway. Not with Tinker everywhere. Oh, you know, these things are what's consuming all my mana. Also, put the fire out, you idiot. If I had a add mod, you'd be in a way better situation. Boy, we had to be really lucky to get one of those early. Uh, is there anything here I actually want? Magic missiles? No. Formation above and below? Definitely not. Fire trail? Not really. Better than that wand in pretty much every way that matters though, so we'll grab it anyway. is not great. Probably be better if I just set it up without the um, luminous drills, but luminous drills are what give the pirate. Our old wand was probably better than the current wand. I 
can't get out of here. Now this is an interesting looking wand. Oh, 10 mana charge speed. Always cast delayed spells. No. No, I don't like this at all. Read charge time and cast delay are not great. Not terrible, not great. Amount of max is pretty good, but mana charge speed is just pathetic. I don't think I even want to pick this up. Yes, I do, because I want the light. I just want to see if I can find something better first. Personal fireball thrower. I don't know about death crosses. If they do self damage, then this probably is a very bad idea. Let's go ahead and swap it out for this one because honestly, I don't want any of this stuff. ourselves up here in a corner somewhere and do some wand tinkering. Okay, so this idea was a really bad one. It does not work at all. It costs too much mana. I don't have enough capacity on this wand. Just putting the bubble sparks on by themselves is probably way better, to be perfectly honest. The problem is the cast delay on this wand is quite high, which is a problem. We could wrap once, but I don't think that's worth it. I could do this. And wrap. And that would allow us to get Two casts out. Okay, personal fireball thrower. I've heard that murders certain bosses. I'm not entirely sure how that works. ENT is reasonable to have some explosives. Just in case I decide I want them. We're probably going to drop all most of this off in Holy Mountain. Okay, let's try this out. Yeah, that recharge time is murderous. Um, actually, okay, let's move this over and let's add one luminous drill. Yeah, that's way better. Still not great, but way better. Yeah, I could use a shovel wand still. The thing is, I just, I don't want to mess around with that. What are you? Oh, that's that wand I dropped off earlier. Okay. Ow. That was entirely my fault. There's a wand. There's a quad scanner with some arrows.
Um. That'll make this one very marginally more powerful. It's still not a great build, but it will do for this area. Already, it just didn't fall for some reason. I got to pop something else before we enter the bungalow area. Which means I'm probably going to have to um, go ahead and use one of those shuffle wands. Or maybe we'll find something else good. Taking too much damage, too. I'm not being careful now. Flask. Awesome. Awesome. first. See if there's anything interesting to see up here. The answer is yes, there is interesting things to see. Mostly dead and dying enemies. Got back from your second stint at work. At least it was only about one half an hour and a half. Sudden call in the middle of the night. Things are broken. Come rescue us. Okay, remember what I said about not being ready for the fungal area? Yeah. About that. 
Um, back off, you piece of shit. Okay. Well, at least I was able to buy a revive. Um. <laughs> Okay, let's just go ahead and rearrange things a little bit here. Uh, what does this got on it? Ooh, that's much better. Twice the recharge. But it is a shuffle. Which is deeply unfortunate. We won't be able to quite have this build. Which, that build isn't that great anyway. Um... I've never used these death crosses. What's the worst that can happen? I think what the worst that could happen is that I die very painfully. Let's just put those back. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Kind of silly, but a bad idea. I think it's better to just put all the bubble sparks on there. And let the shuffle do as it may. Um, if we put a light on the end, we might get a single... If I take that off... A single luminous drill on the end. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, the big green one. It's got that 10 mana charge. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that right in here. If it had anything other than the 10 mana charge, it might be worth it. Okay, we'll keep the purple one for now because it's the best non-shuffle we have. Actually, yeah it is. We'll make that a teleport wand. Because this one's not great. Its capacity is too low to be useful. Let's head back over to the fungal area and see if we can get some revenge. And I need to remember that I do have a teleport through walls wand. Okay. 
acid. Not good. There's one below us. That's a chest. Um, I have it in good authority that opening chests in the water is a bad idea. Non shuffle, 51 charge, 250 max, negative 3 degree. Okay, it's not great, but it's not terrible either. And this is triplicate bolt, non shuffle, 50 charge. Um, I kind of want the triplicate bolts, but I don't otherwise want it. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this triple scatter off. Take those triplicate bolts. Yeah. There's also two spells per cast, which I don't like. I'd rather have the full control over exactly how many casts you get, or exactly what gets cast when. Multiple, multiple spells per cast is, I just find it trickier to deal with. It doesn't inherently mean it's bad or anything, it's just stuff. Uh, if there's not some strong reason to use it, I don't. You're kind of not welcome here. He does for me. Can I eat some? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, what is that? Holy! Holy due to the wand. Chaotic polymorphine. Okay, we're not going to pick that up. A rock. Um. Honey is an alchemy ingredient. Pretty useless since you get the reagent way easier the regular way. I don't know if I want rock. I've seen Rock do silly things before. I, now it's unstable teleportation. I'm about to say I want that teleportation, but it's unstable, so I don't really want it.
There's a chest. What in the world? That one had a big chunk of gold stuck in it. Sufficiently careful there. Well, that was teleportadium. Or unstable stuff, anyway. Ambrosia potion. I do not have one of those yet. I do want one. More luminous trails with timers? Its stats aren't that great. I don't think I need more luminous trail with timer. Those things are explosive. Note to self. I already knew that, but apparently I wasn't paying close enough attention the first time. <clears throat> Alright. Um, I've got some stuff to drop off here. Drop off the double scatter as well. No point dragging that around. I'm highly unlikely to ever use it. Uh, arrow. Actually, you know what? No, I want to keep a couple arrows. Because you never know when you might want a projectile of a different kind. Okay. Hate those mushrooms. <laughs> they definitely know exactly what they want from you, and that is to blow you up. Okay. Now, do any of these wands deserve to replace the helper wand? No, they don't. Okay. Dumb. How are we not exporting this one? Guessing the answer is very carefully, that's all. Potion. It kind of amazes me. But I never really knew that um, bubble sparks could dig. So 
until now. Or like, not until right now, but until this run. And it turns out not only can they dig, but they can actually dig pretty well. Especially if you put them in with a um, aluminous drill, because then they just widen out the hole. They fill the hole the aluminous drill made, and then they widen it out. The second purple wand, a spark trigger, and a payload of triplicates. Aluminum drill might be an okay wand, slow but powerful. That's an idea. Uh, let's move my teleport stuff down there and try it out. Now we have two triplicates. Mm. Let's see. That plus spark trigger plus a triple scatter plus two triplicates and we'll see what this does. Certainly consumes mana. I'm tempted to try to do a... Well, there's a bunch of arrows. And this is just straight up better in every possible way than that wand. All plus it's always cast explosive projectile. 105 really charge. That's the best wand we have yet. By a lot. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this is the best wand we have by a lot. Gunpowder arc. That would be fun if I had the right things. Okay. Let's move the bubble sparks down here. I think they're going to be the final payload. We'll use a quad on them. Okay, add a light, add a luminous with timer, and then into spark bolt with trigger. Always cast only applies to luminous drill. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to put like a double spell and cast luminous drill together with the spark bolt. I think maybe. I want that to really work. I bet you this thing hits like a truck. Let's go find out. Okay, it doesn't actually hit that much. I need some chainsaws to speed this up. If I put a light on the end... Okay, that does not get me any wrap. Okay. 
Okay, we need to add more stuff to get to wrap. This is probably about the best we're going to get right here. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the explosive effect, but we're still going to pay the mana cost for it. Oh well. <clears throat> okay. I see. That is how that is going to work then. It casts it from the base, not from the tip. If I touch a wall, boom. Alright, that is a very bad idea then. Um... I really don't like that auto cast. I'm just gonna say it. Because it's consuming 30 of my mana for doing basically nothing. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. That shuffle is still going to be better for us. Always cast cost nothing? Okay. Yeah, I saw that message and I was like, hmm. I wonder why Luminous Drill would be dangerous because I tried it already and tried firing it. So I was like, hmm, I would need to experiment here a little bit. And then I found out why it was dangerous. What happens if I just... Here. Let's build this a lot differently. Yeah, we need to get that cast delay down. Ah, uh, the only thing I had that reduces cast delay is Luminous Drill. Well, Bitterbolt does, but not enough to matter. If I could just put this... No, that'd be too dangerous. Yeah, this wand's just too dangerous, I think. If I had explosion immunity, it'd be pretty awesome. Alright. It is an interesting wand, though, so we'll keep it for now. was dumb. Okay, that was the rock one. That was luminous drills, but the stats weren't great. It's not like we need more luminous drills either. Concentrated Mana Potion. Okay. Away, please. There's Fireball Orbit and Teleport Bolt. Um, that wise, that recharge time is pathetic. We don't really want Fireball Trail. We do have Gunpowder Arc and Fireball Trail. Those two would be exciting together. <laughs> That's a long, normal Teleport Bolt. We don't want that. We just want the short range one. Oh well, we'll grab it anyway. I think I, I had both last time, and I think I greatly preferred the short one. Well, I know I greatly preferred the, preferred the short one. Got a polymorphine plus water. You know, it might have been a mistake to touch that. Um, 
This has got good charge. Okay, that was a mistake to touch that. More chaotic polymorphine. How much of that shit is around here? Okay, there was definitely supposed to be something on top. Oh, that's probably got displaced down there. I guess. I almost died. Also, that wasn't my water, that was from Oxium. And I now see what that does. It reverses your controls. Mm. Much pain, great suffering. Thankfully that's dead now. All right, um, how about we don't keep the Flamoxium around? I don't accidentally dump my, dump it on myself. Pheromone may or may not be useful. I'm tempted to do a fungal shift just to see what happens. This is a terrible idea, but that never stopped me before. That's that blinding projectile thing. Invisibilium. I gotta say, where did that ant go? Well, now I know. That was one of those explosive mushrooms again. I need to remember to keep my distance from those things. Um, would there be anything I would... You know what, let's try to shift something into Ambrosia, just for the hell of it. We'll probably shift Ambrosia into something else, but... Okay, we are very, very spaced out at the moment. Ambrosia turned into... Womp. Damn it. Oh well. That's probably what I deserve. I was hoping to turn water into Ambrosia or something equally stupid. <laughs> well. Rip my Ambrosia hopes and dreams if I was ever going to use it for something. We're definitely not now. Unfortunately, we don't have any containers that we can put more fungus in for future excitement. Well, that was bad. Specifically that I got chaotic polymorphine everywhere now. Okay, was this wand anything reasonable? No. Alright, it's probably time to get out of here. But not by going through the polymorphine. Dumb. 
Okay, we need to go down into the next area. And get heals, and also just kind of proceed onwards with our life. Am I going back to buy the saw blade? I really don't like the saw blades, though. There's delayed spell cast. Double spell. All seeing eye. Some black holes, luminous drills, all bubble sparks. Wait, what does that always cast? Electric charge. <clears throat> Sounds like a good way to kill myself. Uh, homing shots. Don't know how good that is. It says very slightly, and then there is homing effects you can get. Hearts bestow more max health. That's probably what I should take, but I'm going to reroll anyway because I'm an idiot. You know, wand radar. No. We're going to reroll. Kills to mana. No more shuffle. Ooh. 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 If this keeps its stats and turns into a non shuffle, that'd be awesome. We're taking that. It did keep its stats, it turned into a non shuffle. Alright. So now we have some options 235 recharge speed, 6 capacity, 3.65 recharge. Time. That's pathetic. That's 10 recharge. That's 10 recharge. Boo. Boo. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably end up going past there anyway at some point. Plasma cutter. Every time I pick that up, I get killed with it. Quickly spore pod. I don't know. Well, first of all, let's see if you can do anything interesting with this spell. Put a luminous. I need chainsaws, damn it. That's probably fast enough, honestly. Okay, triple get bolts. We might be able to do something interesting with the triple get bolts. How much do they cost? 25. Okay, that's too expensive for any of our current ones, I think. Up for another run to Walmart. It's basically just Bungo, but you need to walk far. I think. Um. I think I'm gonna go into this area because that'll be a fast way to get to the surface anyway. And then I might think about it. Spawn's not great, but it's functional. Okay, we took a whole bunch of damage there that I probably didn't need to take. Go find the exit to the side here. I do have a fast travel method at the moment. Listen here, Buster.
That guy is not my friend. Oh, he's dead now. something with higher recharge and capacity. Which I think we all know where to get that. Got a good amount of money at the moment. Yeah, projectile repulsion is saving my ass so hard right now. Oh, what are you? Blind mist and short range homing. Yes, please. Um, 107 recharge. Better than this one in pretty much every way that matters. Except it doesn't have that always cast explosive projectile, but I'm okay with that. No. Hmm. What's this reduce recharge time by? 0.17. Okay, that's too much then. But this one would be a good candidate for a new main one. Lime Mist would be really good if I could find a um, crit on slime. See how well this works. Go find some enemies to test it on before we go leaving. Cause these should all home. Which should make them infinitely better than the previous one, even though the fire rate is lower. Okay. It does seem better. I still have mana trouble. Is the desert. Um, it is 11.30, so I probably should have quit a good solid hour ago. I mean, go! Teleport one, one again. Oh, what would it be like without that? Um, it still runs out of mana pretty quickly. But it does last a little longer, so maybe. Yeah, there is the racetrack entrance. Yeah, we definitely want that drill on here, though, for digging. 
Um, actually, I've got an idea. No, that would never work. I was thinking about using this to inject bombs into the wall, and I don't, I don't think bombs would actually damage this rock. <laughs> I think we have discovered our main damage source. I don't know why I haven't been using that all along. But I definitely should have been. <clears throat> Instead of Lumi Timer, try a regular Lumi Multicast with the bubbles. Yeah, because it's so, that's a lot cheaper, actually. What if I just drop one bubble? That definitely gets faster mag dumps. I don't have any wands that have higher mana than that. I do have one that has higher mana charge than that, though. Oops, get back here, yo. have to drop this down to a triple instead of a quad, or I could anyway. Okay, we don't have enough actual mana on the wand to make that worth it. That will make anybody who looks at us funny regret their life choices, for sure. It will also set us on fire and probably cause a great deal of pain and suffering, but... Oh well, you can't have everything, I guess. What are you doing here? Maybe I should put this down here in this high charge wand. Not unless I... Okay, it doesn't have a mana for that. Really? Guess. I don't have enough basic loomies to do that. Mmm, that's actually a lot lower. I'd have to combat the heavy spread if I did that. I don't really have a way to do that. Yeah, no. Alright, that's not a good idea then. But this is probably a better one because of its um, Iron Man and Max. Unfortunately, it fires in bursts. Something I can do to fix that. Something that adds a great deal of cast delay. No. Definitely not. Or not cast delay, recharge time is what I need. Erp. Do I have anything that adds recharge time at all? I don't think so. Which is unfortunate. Because now it fires too fast. Oh well. I just have to be very sparing with the um, fire rate. Right, without the triple cast? 
That might help. No, doesn't help enough. Although... No. Not worth it. Okay. Give me more health, please. Jetpack you rode in on. I remembered why I like the luminous drill with timers because they um, allow you to shoot through walls. <clears throat> Park glow trigger with a payload of triplicates would probably be safer and wouldn't set you on fire every time you shoot. Yeah, maybe. Fireball orbit is very strong though. Let's try using triplicates instead of the dull bubble sparks. I'm curious. Bubble sparks are cool and all. That's a lot of damage. That or he was already severely weakened, which I guess is also the case. Okay, triple spell, anti-gravity, explosion on drunk enemies, and some hollow egg. Uh, that's a lot of mana max as well, and a good deal of recharge. So, replace that one for sure. Explosions on drunk enemies, I guess we'll keep for now. Anti-gravity, I don't think I need, but we'll take it anyway. A summon hollow egg, we'll grab one. And then we'll move this build down to that wand. Or remove the light, because we don't need that in here. Fire rate's a little low, but I think I'm okay with that. What if I replace this, though? Okay, we have the mana to make that workable. I just need to be really careful in here. Those things are in there. Yeah, it takes a lot of smacking before they fall over. Uh, decelerating shot and a bunch of chain bolts. Yeah, statistically. Pretty good. Let's move up a little bit and see if we can do some more tinkering. Good decelerating shot. I don't know if we'll ever see a need for that. We 
the answer is probably no, but... <laughs> yeah, I like fire rate just because I like to watch my wand go burr. <laughs> But damage per shot is also good. Uh... I think I'm going to start a spell disposal area up here. Because honestly, I don't want these arrows. Go away. The slime mists. Uh, we'll keep one, because there might be something fun we could do with that later. Better bolt with timers, we'll keep two. Okay. And then... Pain bolts... They're expensive, but I think we might be able to afford to keep. Who are you? Where in the hell did you even come from? Let's just move this build down. Oops. But using chain bolts instead. And we'll see how that works out. out is it pretty much instantly uses up the mana. That's 250 charge speed. I guess we're using just that much mana on these change bolts. Okay. How about we don't do that then? Okay. That probably gets something done. a great deal of excitement. Oh. That's because I moved it to there. Always, always, always keep your damage wand in the same slot. you end up wondering why your wand is a dud. Okay. Um, a thousand mana charge? Only 200 max mana, but still. With enough add manas, which you could definitely fit a lot on. This thing looks insane. <laughs> um, let's go sit over here for a bit and contemplate our little future decisions. I do not want anywhere close to this many plasma beams, but we'll take a few. Plasma beams are a good way to kill yourself. take four of them for now. Okay, reduce recharge time is really good. I think I'm just going to be able to stack this with every possible thing I have that doesn't push the man over the my point. Okay, here, actually, let's reduce recharge, luminous drill with timer. 
homing. Quad. And then we have all the space in the world to put whatever weird crap we want to put in. Uh, do I have any other things I would want to add to this? That's going to add so much mana drain. Here, let's move everything over a little bit so we have room to drop in modifiers later should I decide to do so. Like that. Okay. We'll add a few of those and a few of these. and Maybe I should put those arrows back on now. Or grab those arrows. Because they're relatively cheap. It only has 213 max mana, so we probably can't actually do that much with this. Um, but hopefully we can at least put these on. Alright, let's put those back for now. We're going to need a lot of add mana to really make this amazing. Yeah, we're ready maxing it out. Ow. Still maxing it out. That's a little better. It's still maxing it out. Okay, that is the thing. Would remove the reduced recharge and a spark trigger and use heavy spread. The mana drain on that is a lot lower than for a luminous drill. But what if I remove that and put this in instead? That reduces the speed a little bit. But it no longer consumes all the mana so we could add more. Payload now. Don't know if that's a good idea or not. What exactly is this do? Minus recharge time. What if I just remove this? Okay, that could have been bad. Um, I don't think that's applying properly when it's not the first thing in the chain. Also, we just blew the hell out of that area. We can add a lot more to this. That's too much. That's also too much. Okay. We can add these back. And probably not much else. If I had some chainsaws. Okay, let's go find some chainsaws. Downward bolts don't appear to do self damage, or we would be very, very dead. What 
is this? Spiral arc and pollen. Hmm. I think that's a replacement for this. So if we aim downward. We get crazy things happen. Okay. Let's grab that. That's a zero mana modifier that adds damage and removes castaway. That auto cast is a problem. If there was some way to suppress it, I would. Good thing I remembered I had to teleport wand in time. Spark bolt trigger. Instead of the um, bitter trigger. Now it's casting that instead of this group. Really? Here, I need to look at this in the wand debugger. Let me just move some things around first so I have some room to work on it. All right, wand debugger, flowchart. No, it shouldn't be. Why was it acting like that then? It's completely suppressing the entire payload. Unless that works differently than I think it does. Something like that. All right, let's see what that is. Um, first we need to get the right Google page up. Okay. Oh, luminous and then... Okay, I see. I was hoping not to use that. Cut some costs here. It still suppresses the payload, which sucks. All right, no, it doesn't. Okay. It costs too much mana now. Um, but that's probably no way we can get around that. Well, that helps a lot, actually. Even though that's pretty cheap. Let's remove some of the other semi-expensive things. Alright, we get a bit more payload now. I need to get some more add mana to offset those downsides, but... As long as I fire in short controlled bursts, it seems to work out okay. 
No reduced recharge. I did remove it. I think we'll reduce recharge. Unless its statistics are a lie. It can't be all bad. Ooh. There's just about every kind of homing you could ever want. Nuke orbit? Well, I mean, we have to take that now. Its mana charge is absolutely pathetic, but we have to take it. Alright, also, why do I not have that on there anymore? I don't think I want any of the pollens. Now we have a bunch of different kinds of homing. Well, we're going to take Nuke Orbit because that's insane. But we'll probably, honestly, never use it. Also, this place is becoming a disaster zone. Fire Arc is zero cost. It removes cast delays. It's probably okay. Adds a little bit of damage. Guess it doesn't hurt anything. Yeah, I saw that tongue. I'm not going to put Giga Disc on here. There's no way, no how. Plasma Beam Bounce. A projectile launches a plasma beam upon bouncing. That sounds like a terrible idea. Ball Lightning. Summons three short-range electrical orbs. That sounds like a great deal of fun, for certain values of fun. Oh, all that gold disappeared. Oh well. Healing bolt. If I could get those to hit me, Circle of Unstable Metamorphosis. I don't think I want this one, but I do kind of want those spells just in case they're good. I have no idea what Circle of Unstable Metamorphosis is. But the name alone does not make me want to use it. Let's put it that way. There's a damage plus. Okay, we need to do some rearranging here. <clears throat> use a spark bolt to trigger and shoot a flat surface to hit yourself. I should see if I can get a really good wand built and then go back. I need to try out these ball lightnings, see what they do. I need to go through this and throw stuff away again. I'm loaded down with all kinds of shit that I probably don't want. Like decelerating shot? I probably don't want that. Hmm. Ah, eh, no, I don't think so. 
I'm not sure why I'd want to make projectiles slower. Or even worse, slower over time. Like, that doesn't actually do that much damage. I really need to buff it up somehow. There's another wand over here. Giant magic missile. I've never seen that before. Okay. Uh, where do I even put this shit? I guess we'll just start storing our other wands. Yeah, I don't... Actually, I don't need more of those spark bolt triggers. I've got several. That's good enough. Oh yeah, repulsion shield. That'll make it fun. Uh, now I really, 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 really want infinite spells. <laughs> I can can only imagine. Yeah. This might be. Just what the doctor ordered to murder certain bosses or something. That's a lot of the weakening curse explosives, dormant crystal will trigger. I don't really want those. I do kind of want the weakening curse. I was making those up here. Uh, that would be a good depot one, though. Okay, let's dump some stuff. Oh, okay, bombs I don't want. Don't care about them at all. Um, I don't know how the leg is pretty good. Plasma beam I don't want. Let's face it, plasma beam is a great way to kill yourself. Chain bolt I do want. I need to keep these triples until I start getting actual multi-spell. I don't know if ball lightning can... It does do explosives, so it probably can kill me. I very much want that. Teleport bowl, I don't know if I want it. Leave that up there. Plasma beam bounce sounds insanely dangerous. Lumi timer behind your back, healing bolt, any spell. Possibly. I really don't want to make space for that though. Uh, all these empty slots are hurting me physically. I just need Ad Mana to offset that. 213 mana max. And I need some chainsaws to get speed for without having to spend insanely. Who knows? These are 70 mana drain. They're probably good to bring along just in case for later. We'll take like four of them. Uh, we'll dump that in there. And I might as well take plasma beam bounce because actually here wait, let's do this. Fire those once, that they're added to my list of spells. We'll move that down there. 
Okay, that spell's good to be removed. Okay, weakening curse explosives, I kind of want. Dormant crystal with triggers can just go get piled up somewhere though. I might keep one of them. But then they're just kind of an egg with a trigger. I don't know if that's actually worth it or not. We'll keep one. For now. And we'll go ahead and put all these up. Actually, do I want them all? If I want to use them against any kind of bosses or something, I'm going to want them all. But if I don't want to use them against, like, if I just want to um, have them in case I find something awesome, then I probably don't want them all. Also, is this better than that? Close enough. Actually, it probably is better because it's a slower wand. That's our new teleport wand. All right, let's go look for more wands. There's a damage plus. And a triple spell, finally. Been so long. I should be adding the damage plus to this. There are only five extra mana drain. Have extra mana drain. Damn you, stop it. Another new Corbett, which we don't really want. Prickly Spore Pod, Quadruple Scatter. I don't think I want Toxic Mist, because that sounds dangerous. Uh, do I want another new Corbett? No, I don't. I will take a heavy spread, though. Can I put another heavy spread on this? This doesn't matter anyway. What's the worst that can happen? Hmm. Right, see you later, Dread. I really need to go to bed as well. It is 12 o'clock. I'm having too much fun with spell hunting, though. Uh, this has got a little bit of everything on it. Okay, I really need to go find a safe spot and just contemplate my wands for a while. This also has a little bit of everything on it. Always cast reduced spread. Mana recharge speed isn't that great. Water to poison. That sounds bad. Chaos magic. Makes projectile launch a random spell when it hits something. That might be good with limited with unlimited spells. It also could be very dangerous, so probably not. Gravity. Might be worth grabbing. I don't think I want that wand. Anyway, go stuff ourselves in a cave, and I think we're going to save here, because it is 12 o'clock, and it is 
definitely high time that I get to bed. Um, let's see, who's doing what? Wait, it's playing Atlas. Atlas is boring. And nobody else in the follow list is doing anything at all, so that probably means no raid. All right. See you later. Um, thank you for the bet. And also, thank you for the help with building. Greatly appreciate it. Tomorrow is Friday. Um, hmm. I said I was going to play Crab today, and then I played Noida instead. I should play Crab tomorrow. Um, we'll see, though. You never know. Maybe something will come up. Um, then, of course, on the weekend, we're back to Shadow Gambit. So, that should be fun. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome night. And I will see you all later. Good night. And goodbye.